Objective accomplished. Commander, we are detecting strong energy surges from orbit. The laser satellites are now charged and are repositioning toward our location. Commander, the second Gamma Team base is at this location. We have limited time available in which to evacuate this base and move to Gamma Base. Commander, analysis of the laser satellite's fire pattern indicates that they are not fully functioning. They misfire regularly and are unstable in their new orbits. They are, however, directing their fire toward this position. Commander, we will need to evacuate this base shortly. Team Gamma reports the existence of a missile silo at this location. They believe that the silo contains missiles capable of reaching high orbit. Capture this silo at all costs. So, based on the intro video, there are a pair of satellites heading to our position, and they are misfiring. What does a pair of misfiring satellites look like? Let me cut to a snippet I took of them. The first satellite will be nice enough to announce its attacks and even give you an indicator where it will hit. Sadly, even with crazy fast reaction time, you won't be able to get out of the way before... A last sat will one-shot almost any structure, although a bunker has a chance to survive a hit with 178 HP remaining. Also, this laser has a blast radius. The reason nothing else was hurt is because that first shot actually hit the mountain behind the hard point. The other laser gives no indicator or verbal notice, and just goes ahead and... This one also has pinpoint precision to the point it can potentially pick off a mid-flight paircraft. The satellites have a minimum firing increment of 10 seconds, so they are going to do a lot of damage. Power resource. Don't even bother trying to save the top half of the map. Not only will your trucks get sniped, but as soon as this stage ends, the map gets cut off at the halfway point, and everything north of it is automatically lost anyway. So much like Gamma 5, Nexus is once again hitting us with something we have no defense against, this time until the stage ends. So let's talk about how we do that. The map is very tall and narrow. In fact, I think I want some more room to write here. Maybe if I turn it... Hmm... Diagonal, perhaps? Uh, no? Ew. I'll just split it in half. Great. On the left is the top half of the map, where we played Gamma Stages 1 through 5. The right half is where Gamma 6 through 8 take place, and the small valley connection between the two is here. As far as the last sat is concerned, it will move slowly southward, firing at any unit or structure that happens to be at or above its current position. For this reason, trying to sneak in trucks behind it to rebuild stuff is a waste of time. They will just get sniped when they get too far up. Once the satellite reaches this point, its southern pathing will start rotating a bit, focusing on the bottom left of this part of the map before taking out your original LZ. However, at no point this stage will the last sat move farther south than the halfway point. Everything in the bottom half of the map will be safe from orbital obliteration. Orbitalation? But for Gamma 7. As for Nexus, he has two bases. His main base in the bottom right, and a small VTOL base in the bottom left. That base has four VTOLs that will attack as soon as the stage starts, as well as a large land force here that will rush you as well. He did leave himself a major weakness though. His VTOL base has absolutely no anti-air structures, which means that once the aircraft there fire their ordnance at my buildings, I can have my own air team follow them home and remove half the Nexus threat within the first minute. The bottom right base is better off, but that's just what an artillery-backed MBG is for. With the VTOLs gone, as long as we set up a forward repair bay here, and push from this direction, every single Nexus attack will just run into the MBG. Getting flanked won't be a concern. We can level this stage in a rather absurdly short amount of time, and that's a good thing, as there is a lot of tech in this stage for us, and so much building to be done, that being able to eliminate the threat quickly is almost a requirement. Mission timer activated. Structure under Structure under attack. 
Structure under attack. Laser satellite firing. Enemy base detected. Structure under attack. Commencing attack. Artifact detected. On our way. Commencing attack. On our way. On our way. Group one reporting. Group one reporting. Laser satellite firing. One reporting. Laser satellite firing. Group two reporting. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Laser satellite firing. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Laser satellite firing. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Laser satellite firing. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Reporting. Unit under attack. Power resource. Commencing attack. Run. Unit under attack. Commencing attack. Run. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Laser satellite fire. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Laser sound. Fire. Unit under attack. Enemy base detected. Unit under attack. Laser satellite. Fire. Power resource. Unit under attack. 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 Laser satellite firing. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Group zero reporting. Power resource. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Laser satellite. Firing. Unit under attack. Power resource. Unit under attack. 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 Laser satellite firing. Unit under attack. 
Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Laser satellite firing. Group zero reporting. Unit under attack. On our way. On our way. On our way. On our way. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Commencing attack run. Laser satellite. Fire. Unit under attack. Commencing attack run. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Laser satellite. Fire. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Laser satellite. Fire. Artifact detected. Unit under attack. Power restored. Artifact recovered. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Laser satellite. Fire. Unit under attack. Artifact detected. Laser satellite firing. Group one reporting. Power resource. When a unit touches the missile silos, you get this notification. Objective captured. But it doesn't really mean much. The stage's win criteria is just the destruction of the two bases. Group one reporting. Laser satellite firing. Commencing attack run. Commencing attack run. Artifact recovered. Laser satellite firing. Enemy base eradicated. Group one reporting. Group zero reporting. Laser satellite firing. Laser satellite firing. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Group zero reporting. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Commencing attack run on our way. Laser satellite firing. Commencing attack run on our way. And that said, this two hour stage is over in ten minutes flat. Laser satellite firing. Excellent preparation goes a long way, but as the Boy Scouts of America say, why don't we sell cool cookies? There are two CB towers in the bottom left of the map. Pick one as the designated survivor, destroy everything else, and get ready for our last big preparation of the game. Three. 
Weapon research completed. The Angel Missile Battery. Depending on your version, it may also be called the Seraph. Structure research completed. And its emplacement. It fires fewer shots per volley than the Ripple Rocket does, but each shot does more damage, has a slightly improved range, and it even has a bit more HP to boot. Weapon research completed. Search and destroy missiles, because we won't miss missiles missing. Weapon research completed. The Morse Code Cannon, aka Railgun. Structure research completed. An emplacement. Structure research completed. And a hard point. The second of the MAC weaponry. I'm not going to retire the phrase paper towel cannon just yet, as Nexus still has one more version we don't know the name of. Weapon research completed. The pulse laser. Structure research completed. And an emplacement. Laser satellite firing. With all these new toys, let's see if we can put them to use. Starting with the well-aged anvil. Replacing the cannon with the railgun. No change to HP, so it's still my team's best tank. A decent range upgrade. More than double the DPM, and about 50% more damage per shot. It's also much lighter than the heavy cannon was. I forgot to grab a screen cap of it, but the railgun results in about a 25% speed increase to boot. Next up, the Whirlwind. I'm going to update it to the Vindicator Launcher. Honestly, for the remainder of the game, at least in this version, both weapons would do equally well based on Nexus's designs and the shape of the terrain. I just figured everyone else in my team is getting sweet new Nexus class upgrades, don't want to leave this guy behind. And lastly, our workhorse, the anti-personnel tank. Compared to the assault gun, the pulse laser is actually a major DPM downgrade, falling from 26,625 to 11,400. However, unlike the flashlight laser, this time, the combination of the massive upgrade in range and the substantial difference in damage per shot makes the swap worth it overall. I don't have the exact numbers handy, but I'm pretty sure Nexus's massive armor values had the assault gun already doing minimum threshold damage by this point. That is no longer the case. Anyway, I've got another hour of tank rebuilding and defensive preparation to do. Here we go. The structures I had set up in Gamma 6 are mostly still present. Laser satellite firing. Beta team's entrance. Gamma base number 2. Laser satellite firing. The airfield on the cliff I have removed and relocated to the bottom left of the map. The central area now has a hard wall at its top left valley entrance as well, and I've added bunkers to the north end of the south part. A defensive outcropping here, with the McShooter team right behind. This cliff has a ton of Scourge Towers on it in front of a lot of artillery. The Onolds will be relocated to the southwest corner. I just have them sitting here because I don't want them blowing up the CB Tower early. The scrub VTOLs have been recycled, though I may change my mind on that early next stage. Laser satellite firing. A hellstorm feel here, because why not? Covering the various valleys heading to the southwest. Ten minutes remaining. The VTOL pads are here now. Laser satellite firing. A wall around this pass. Laser satellite firing. This area right here will be the fallback for the McShooters if they need to retreat. A single factory, for now. All of the research facilities and power plants have been moved down here, along with the command and relay centers. And a wall guarding this area. I'm hoping that by fully blocking this path, I can prevent spawns next stage, but in case that doesn't happen, I have a heavy bobo. 
a heavy bob with repair bay backup. And a fair bit of Angel batteries are here with a couple Nostalgia bombards because I felt like it. That's it. I'll set up the structures here to kill off the enemy CB to end the stage now. Laser satellite firing. I said in Gamma 5 that there would be one other stage that might end up being unwinnable if not prepared for ahead of time, and Gamma 8 will be that stage, so I hope this is enough. No, that's not facetious sarcasm. Group Zero, reporting. Laser satellite firing. Nexus's last sats are going to be going nuts next stage, and this time there's no southern safe spot. We just have to take it. Christine, help us. Construction completed. Enemy objective accomplished.